<laughs> Are you guys ready? The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Amsterdam in the Netherlands. Weighing in at 453 pounds. This competitor is just way, way too aggressive. They need to do some breathing exercises or something. Unlock the inner peace. I'm a little surprised to hear that from you, Corey. You endorse anyone who brings a little animosity to the ring. Well, maybe sometimes I do, but this is too much. They should dial it back. Do some yoga. Well, this man is taking aim at the Prince. Guys, he better not miss. Yeah, it takes a lot of guts to step up to a competitor like Finn Balor. But a win could change his career. Finn Balor has arrived. Say hello to the Prince of Judgment. And his opponent, representing the Judgment Day from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 190 pounds. He is one half of the undisputed WWE Tag Team Champions, Finn. You know, Finn Balor used to have such a deep connection with the WWE Universe, but he's throwing all that away with this new attitude. I'd argue that was the smartest thing that Balor's ever done. Finn used to be the guy who let glory slip through his fingers, who fell just short of expectations, but now he's living up to his hype and much more. Balor famously became the first ever Universal Champion, but had to surrender the title to injury. And he's had some measure of success since then, but he's become bitter, he's become jaded. Uh, you speak lies, Cole. Finn Balor simply realigned his values. He knows now what he must do to return to the mountaintop, and he's more prepared to do so. Superstars in the ring, and the referee officially starts the match. All right, this is the way we're starting, Cole. I think the WWE Universe is in for quite a show tonight. Straight punch! Continuing to work on the arm with a drop in the knee for more punishment. Great power, masterfully executed Regal Plex. Suplex. Has it hooked in? Goodness, inverted suplex. One strong attack after another. Look at the arm for a Fujiwara armbar. Ah, oh, Fujiwara armbar applied. That kind of force in the arm can have lingering effects. Slips out of the way. That's a form that'll floor you. One around. Standing drop kick. Great ups. Balor not exactly looking like the best version of himself after that one. Finn Balor is such a dynamic, precise competitor in the ring. Corey, how do you take on a talent like him? Well, as extraordinary as Balor may be, he's still a man. And no man is perfect. Be on the lookout for little mistakes and simply capitalize. Keep on it. This their opponent's uh -oh. legs. And uh -oh. Floor. The adrenaline is pumping, and the WWE Universe is on his side. Balor retaliates. He's able to sidestep there. Suplex, wrist clutch, suplex, perfect. He's channeling the crowd's energy. Uh-oh, what a takedown. Fujiwara armbar. Ah, oh, Fujiwara armbar applied. 
You can see the intent behind that attack. Exploiting the arm must be the strategy here. This is starting to reach Kane and Abel levels of animosity, guys. Jeez, Cole, I hope it doesn't go that far. Yeah, I don't think I can stop that. And a basement drop kick. Able to avoid any harm there. Tearing down the leg now. Focused all their aim to the knee area with great effect. Uh, will this be enough? Raises the shoulder before the one count. Just powered out. <laughs> oh, right in there. There's a swing blade. On the button with a low drop kick. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. That bear. Kick right to the spine. Goal! Balor's capturing momentum now. Finn's proving hard to deal with. And come on now. Distasteful offense we've just witnessed. Oh, there's a response against Finn. <laughs> Kick. Great ups. <laughs> Taking a moment to let the crowd know how much he appreciates them. Drop kick hits the mark. <laughs> Balor timed that just right. Ouch. Our arms trapped. Slam. He is mentally and physically exhausted now. Yeah, this is not good. You don't say, Saxton. Oh, impressive counter. Oh, the arm taking the brunt of that. Nothing fancy here. Backbreaker and backbreaker. And this is good. Great officiating, as the ref noticed he was on the ropes. Jawbreaker interrupts the attack. Basement drop kick finds the mark. Some shock in the arena after that kick out. Ah, uh, setting them up for Fisherman's Buster. Looking for the victory. Two. No, stops the count at two. Almost inhuman at this point. Fowler with 19 16. There's the cover. Finished off for sure. It was almost all over. Almost a three count. Yeah, talk about a close call. Ballard still has the tools to get the job done. He has to remain confident and keep focused now. One. The WWE Universe matching Ballard's energy here as this match continues. Double underhook applied. A butterfly suplex. Two. Oh, barely kicks out. Really had less than a second to stay alive there. You can see the battle scars on their bodies, and they are telling an epic tale. These men are showing everyone the desire, the strength, and the will it takes to compete at this level. You expect these pins to last much longer at this stage in the match. Finn turns it around. Looking wobbly in the corner. Uh-oh. Face full of turnbuckle. Now this is a textbook example of how to bend the rules. Using the forearm to their advantage. Oh, impact to the stomach. He turns it around. A crafty unique suplex. Wrist clutch suplex. Perfect. There's two. Yeah, no. He doesn't get the three. He just won't give up. Look at the arm for a food 
Fujiwara armbar. Ah, oh, Fujiwara armbar applied. He can end it here. He's got him. Fights out at two. That is just pure instinct at this point. This one is headed outside, guys. Oh, what a counter. It's a swing blade. Basement drop kick. Back straight into the post on the outside. Hoist it up and down. 16. And there's Balor managing to inflict additional damage. Balor isn't done yet with this match or with his competition. He may not be aware of the count. He's got to get back in. And Finn is really playing it up for the WWE. Was about to help the winner celebrate. They wouldn't have none of that. Fending off the attackers. What is it you always say, Graves? Gotta have eyes in the back of your head. At all times. This is exactly why. <laughs> 